So uh, this is the part two of the video on uh, how could you mark effectively uh, on work that is being submitted through Google Classroom without a tablet or should I say with just your SSOE computer. So again, I got this uh, idea from my colleague Romel Chong and uh, he should be credited for this wonderful idea. So how does this work? Uh, it is it takes a few more steps, but if you do not like the previous video on uh, making comments uh, by typing, uh, or if you are a math or a science teacher where you need to sketch diagram uh, or write math equation uh, for your students, then uh, typing comments may not be a very effective way of marking. So one, one way to work around this is uh, uh, to download it and then upload it. So there's one additional step. So let me bring you through. So for example, uh, let's go to uh, Google Classroom and uh, take one of the work. So let's say magnetism. Okay, and I want to mark the work that is being turned in here. So what, what, what Google Classroom did is that uh, whenever students upload their work, it will be saved on your Google Drive. So if you go to Google Drive, let's say this is uh, your Google Drive, Okay, and uh, by default, when you have a Google Classroom, it will create a folder called Classroom on your Google Drive, like here. So if you click into it, um, so now that I click into it, my computer is hanging. Okay, you will see the uh, classroom that you created. So just now, I, I my target is that I want to mark Four six classroom uh, the work on magnetism so I will go into it okay so uh, the magnetism homework um, that I'm in uh, as you can see down here this is the folder name that it is created so uh, when I first give this assignment uh, I name it poorly so it is actually called for student on LOA so uh, if I go into into this for six classroom, I will see for student on LOA. And uh, you see all these are the students work. So what you can do is that you can download it one shot by clicking here and uh, you can download them one shot. Uh, for this video, let's, let me demonstrate uh, just by marking one piece of homework. So let's say I want to mark Marcus work. So Marcus has submitted a number of uh, assignments and uh, let's say I just want to uh, look at one of his assignments. Let's say I want to look at uh, just um, this page called uh, 1404439. So I will go to the Google Drive and then look for, what is the number again? one four zero four three nine one four zero okay this one so i will download this but uh, in your case you would download the entire folder because you want to mark the entire folder uh, let me scroll down uh, what is that that i want to mark okay i don't care already okay i will just mark one of it let's say this four zero six okay so four zero six i download it four zero six okay and it is downloaded so here i have to make it the same name uh things that i have same file so it is now downloaded once it is downloaded you can open it with microsoft paint uh which I think most of the computer will have it. So actually my computer now is opening the file. And yep, now it's open. Uh, I have made some initial markings on it already. So let's say uh, let's say now you wanted to, to, to make more markings. So you can click pen here, change it to a larger one. Uh, you may want to use this and uh, now you can mark. Uh, directly and if you have a stylus on your laptop you can then uh, write things like that this is 
testing yeah and then put a smiley face uh maybe spelling mistake maybe some uh, equation that you want to put in things like that once you are done with this just save Control s and you can close it uh, our assumption is that you download the entire folder but for this case i just mark one page so what i do i will just drag uh, what i have marked back onto this google drive it will go back in and uh, it is now uploading with the same name you you do not want to have it in a separate file you want the same name so once i have done that uh, you can check that uh, that this is the piece of work that i just marked if now i click on it or uh, maybe come back to google classroom so this is my google classroom uh, this is the assignment markers so let's go to markers and the page that i mark is uh is one four zero four zero six yep the first one so as you can see down here it shows the marking that uh, i've done earlier on writing testing smiley face all that so once you are done you, you have you have done this you can click return and then uh, the student will get a notification that the work is marked so this way you don't need a tablet but you need a stylus for your laptop but I think this will be good for your science and uh, for the science and math teacher. So this is it. And uh, thank you, Romel, for sharing this wonderful idea with me. And uh, 